Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are working on an arithmetic properties of number question. So the question says, the sum of prime numbers that are greater than 60 but less than 70 is what? So what we are going to do here is first we are going to decide which numbers between 60 and 70 are actually prime and then add them up. So it's important to notice that it does say greater than, it does not say greater than or equal to. So that automatically excludes 60 and also excludes 70 because again it says less than. So the numbers we're looking at are 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69. Okay, so from here, we can automatically eliminate four of them just by recognizing that they're prime. So right here, we realize that 60, I'm sorry, not prime, even. So right here, we can cancel out 62 because that's even. We can cancel out 64 because it's also even. 66 and 68 because remember, a number is, if a number is even, which means it ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it is divisible by 2. So you know that that's not prime. And actually, to take a step back, remember that a prime number is a number that's divisible only by 1 and itself. So it can't have any other factors. So now let's go ahead and take a look at 61. So if we go through our divisibility rules, it's not even, so we know it's not divisible by 2. To check if it's divisible by 3, we add up the, um, the digits, and 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 is not divisible by 3, so we know that 61 is not divisible by 3. It's um, not divisible by 4. There isn't too big of a shortcut for 4. Um, the divisibility rule is to look at the last two digits and see if that number is divisible by 4. I can tell just kind of by looking at it, but if you wanted to check it, just go ahead and divide by 4. Um, it's not divisible by 5 because it doesn't in a 0 or a 5. It's not divisible by 6 because we know it's not divisible by 2. Um, we can check 7. I'm not sure if it's divisible by 7. 7 into 61. Um, let's see. Well, 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 9 is 63. So it's not divisible by 7. And actually, on a side note, we can actually eliminate 63 because I just pointed out that it's divisible by 7. So we might as well just knock that off while we're at it. Um, let's see. So 61, it's not divisible by 8 because it's not divisible by 2, not divisible by 9. So let's go ahead and keep that in the mix. Um, but at this point, we're pretty sure that 61 is prime. So let's take a look at our next option, which is 65. We can automatically tell that that's divisible by 5 because it ends in a 5. So let's go ahead and cancel that one out. Let's take a look at 67. This one also stands out as probably being prime to me, but let's go through them. Uh, we don't need to check 2. Let's check 3. 6 plus 7 is 13. That's not divisible by 3, so we know that 67 is not divisible by 3. Uh, it's not divisible by 4, uh, not divisible by 5, not divisible by 6 because it's not divisible by 2. It, I believe it's not, nope, it's not divisible by 7, so I believe this one is prime as well. Now let's take a look at 69. We've already checked 2, it's not even. To check 3, we add up the digits, and the sum of these two digits is 15, so that is divisible by 3, so we can go ahead and eliminate that. So now we are left with our two prime numbers, which are 61 and 67. So let's go ahead and add those up, and we get 128. And this here is our final answer. So if we take a look at the answer choices, that would be letter B. So just to give you a quick recap, prime numbers are only divisible by 1 and itself. And don't forget, if it says greater than, it does not include the number, or just less than, it does not include that number. So if it's greater than 60, it does not include 60. All right, well, I think that sums up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to grab your free GMAT formula sheet by clicking on the image to the left. And as always, feel free to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And all right, I will see you guys next time. Oh,